I think to be elected president these days is you need a lot of money. <laughs> money and publicity. A few thousand dollars. Maybe ten thousand dollars. After giving you money, people want you to do things for them. Millions of dollars. It has strings attached. And now you're gonna have to pay it all off. And yeah, so that's a problem. Americans love their country. We love it. But we seem to have less warm feelings towards our government. I think we're kind of losing the for the people of the people feel to it. I think that the common people's kind of been forgotten a little bit. We've lost that image that people get elected to serve the public. When you hear the word politician, what are the first three things that come to mind? You can imagine what the answers were, you know, dirtbag, money, corrupt. Every morning, every United States senator wakes up and his first thought is, today I have to raise $20,000, or at the end of the next election cycle, I won't have a job. Who stops us from coming off oil to something else? The oil companies, why? They're getting rich. If money is free speech, that means that you who have a million dollars and I who have a hundred dollars are equal? Uh-uh. I like to eat, I like to eat. Follow us as we journey through America's well-sprayed farmland. If you had a bunch of people that say it's good to jump off of a cliff, I think they'd all jump off of a cliff. You know, and if they say use this chemical, this is good and this will, yeah, you know, but it all goes in one place into your wells, it goes down in the rivers, and you're drinking water. We not only produce an abundant food supply, we produce a safe and affordable, the lowest per capita of any other developed nation. A number of our staff, including myself, are registered federal lobbyists. We'll organize a fundraiser for Member X. We operate a political action committee. We'll ask the various agricultural groups to make contributions. We try to earn a seat at the table. Blocking and tackling. If you're going to play in the game, you got to play by the rules. The hardcore work of lobbying. It's our system. We're all in this game that this is what we, they pay us for, so we do this. We would like to do the right thing, but we're certainly not subsidized to do the right thing. We've taken the culture out of agriculture. And to the smoky skies of our energy policy. I'm not sure that any one issue affects me more than, than our energy policy. Um, for the simple fact that it is so directly related to our national security and the lives of our men and women in the military. What we have in this country doesn't begin to resemble what you would actually sit down and design for a rational energy path. What we have in this country is a complete hodgepodge of special interests that politicians are afraid of offending and whose support they need to get reelected. You can check my records. I don't get a whole lot of money from any one special group other than the maritime industry. And I will say that because I am the only... We're not dealing with evil people. Captain. But the reality is, because they have to focus themselves on money, the system becomes corrupt. There's an ancient, ancient art form of that. It's called whoring, and it is disgusting to watch. Money often serves as a proxy for support. Those with the most money, are, well, they're really the people with the most public support. It is a part of my life every day. Every day I go make those calls. Money absolutely drives it. In a way, it's dysfunctional. You know, I, I spend a lot of time with lobbyists, going to dinners on a regular basis, hanging out. But that totally disconnects you from your voters. No, it gives me more time to focus on... Fundraising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>